This video will be explaining dual clutch transmissions. Now, if you haven't already, you should probably watch my videos on clutches and multi-plate clutches, and that'll give you some necessary background information before getting into dual clutch transmissions. Uh, another thing I'd like to add is that if you like me on facebook.com slash engineering explained, you can vote on future videos. So that's a good way to have input on what video I make next. Alright, so into dual clutch transmissions. Now first I'm going to go over all the components and then I'll explain how it works. So you're going to have a clutch housing that's going to be rotating uh, from the engine. So the engine will have your crankshaft and it'll be connected to this where you'll have this rotating clutch housing. Now everything in black is going to be rotating with the engine as well as these blue plates. These blue plates I've just kind of drawn in are, are act like pressure plates and for this example I'm going to be using uh, two single plate clutches. So they're just going to have friction on each side of each of the clutches. So you're going to have this green clutch plate here, which is connected to the green shaft, and then this red clutch plate here, which is connected to the red shaft. Now the red shaft is outside, uh, it goes around the green shaft. Alright, so each of these clutches controls either the even or the odd gears. So you can see the gears here, 1, 3, 5 in reverse, and 2, 4, and 6. So the green shaft and the green clutch is going to be controlling uh, the odd gears, and the red shaft is going to be controlling the even gears. Now this is important because this is how you can switch so quickly. The advantage of dual clutch transmissions is that you can switch almost instantaneously and the driver won't even feel uh, the acceleration change. So it's, it's almost constant. And so how it works is, let's, let's just go through a scenario and say we're going to start driving. So we're going to be in first gear. Now along this, this is the output shaft here where all your gears are on. And uh, it's, it's important to know that all of these gears are rotating on uh, bearings, whereas these are fixed to the shaft. So they're always rotating with the shaft. And then these are on bearings. So they're all, always rotating at the same speed as the shaft that's rotating, but they can rotate independently. So if they're not engaged, then they just rotate freely. Now these, these are called dogs or collars, are used to engage a certain gear. So you'll have a little selector arm that'll come in here, and you'll have multiple selector arms, and they'll have a little device that can push these uh, collars or dogs into place. So say you're in first gear. Well, this blue collar here is going to be in this first gear. They're going to be meshed together, and that makes all these blue dogs are going to rotate with this output shaft. They're all connected to the output shaft, but they can slide along it. They've got a spline. So they'll be pushed in to a certain gear. There'll be little slots in these gears these dogs can fit into, and then because of that, this engine, this, the shaft coming from the engine, will the clutch, when it's engaged, will connect to this gear, which will connect to the output shaft, and then it'll cause your wheels to spin. So if you're in first gear, you'll have a little selector rod that'll push that in, and then this will be rotating, and then you'll have your first gear ratio here. Now what happens is in, in this clutch housing is that only this first clutch is engaged, so these blue pressure plates are going to squeeze that clutch together so that as this black housing rotates, this uh, green rod here rotates with it. Now, switching to second gear, this is the advantage of the dual clutch transmission. So, it's going to take the selector rod and it's going to go ahead, once you get to a high enough speed and it knows that you're about to change gears um, because you're, you're revving up high, it's going to put this uh, dog here into the gear. So it's already going to be in there. So both of these are going to be in gears simultaneously. Well, what that means is that this red shaft here is going to be spinning. But because the clutch isn't engaged, it doesn't matter. It's just going to rotate freely. Now, all you have to do to switch gears is change the pressure from this clutch plate to this clutch plate. So this pressure plate here will release, and then this pressure plate here will engage, and that'll happen simultaneously. So one's releasing while the other is engaging, so that it's just a very instant just transfer of torque. So your torque was initially going 
down this green shaft to the first gear and then to the output shaft. Well, the clutches switch which one's engaged and so then you'll, it'll go from second. So instantaneously it's going from this green to the red shaft and then to second gear to the output shaft to the differential. So, all right, let's just go ahead to the next gear. So as the second one goes in, the third dog is going to slide into, well, this dog right here is going to slide in via the selector rods into this uh, gear. So as this rotates, uh, it'll, it'll start rotating this first clutch. So once again, you'll disengage the first clutch and simultaneously, or disengage the second clutch, sorry, and simultaneously engage the first clutch. So then torque will instantaneously transfer from this red shaft to the green shaft and out to the differential. Now, for reverse, it's pretty simple. I just drew a little idea here. I mean, you can just put in an idle gear, and so what happens is as this rotates here, it'll change direction there and then change direction back to the desired direction, uh, which would be reverse, whereas all the other ones just have a direct connection. So they're just going to rotate the opposite direction, and then this one will be opposite of the rest of the gears, so you can go backwards. So the important thing to note is that the even gears are on one shaft and the odd gears are on another. And that's so that you can pre-select a gear and then all you have to do to switch gears is transfer which clutch is engaged. Now, many dual clutch transmissions will actually use multiple disc clutches. So this way they can transfer a greater amount of torque and use smaller discs. Uh, if you've watched my video on multiple plate clutches, uh, you can see the reasoning there. So if you're in first gear, then this green clutch will be engaged and all of these little black slits that you see here are actually going to be rotating with the engine and they'll squeeze together to engage uh, the first clutch and the other plates over here, the other friction plates, will be spread apart. So each of these little lines is actually going to be an entire disc uh, going all the way around in this clutch housing. And so one will squeeze together as the others are released apart and then as you transfer the torque from one to the other, say you switch from first to second gear, you'll release one while simultaneously squeezing on the second clutch. So then transferring the torque to the next gear. So your torque transfer will actually look something like this. So you'll have all of the torque going through the first uh, clutch and then when you switch gears, it's going to release the, the first clutch, disengage the first clutch, and engage the second clutch here in red. So initially the red clutch has 0% of the torque and then over a very short duration here it's going to take on the entire 100% uh, of the torque transfer. So this all is going to happen and you can see there's never a moment where there's no torque transferring. And this is a huge advantage and also keep in mind that this distance here is just milliseconds. It could be 30 milliseconds so you're not even going to feel how quick this is. Like it's just incredibly fast and that's just a huge advantage of the dual clutch transmission. So thank you all for watching and please go ahead and like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash engineering explained and that way you can vote on future videos.